2002 kidnapping and murder of the Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Coral at the hands of extremists in Karachi, Pakistan. At the time of the kidnapping, I was actually serving in our U.S. Embassy in Islamabad, Pakistan. I was head of the economic section at that point. After uh, Danny's untimely death, his family and friends all came together uh, and they set up the Daniel Pearl Foundation, whose mission is actually to promote cross-cultural understanding through journalism, music, and innovative communications. Since 2002, Daniel Pearl World Music Days has grown to include the participation of more than 11,000 performances in 129 countries, and I believe this is our first here in Ethiopia. Tonight, we are here to share this in the special commemoration of inspiration and harmony through music. I hope that the beautiful classical music played for us by Otto Gurma will inspire you with a sense of unity and purpose. I'm pleased and honored to host this event this evening in memory of Danny Pearl and to reinforce the commitment of the United States to freedom of expression and support for independent journalism. I also invite you to reaffirm our collective commitment to international friendship by taking a stand against the divisive forces that took Danny's life. As you know, journalists are the people uh, who serve the public by providing information. So, uh, if, for example, Daniel Pearl, he lost his life while uh, doing his job in Pakistan. So it's very important uh, to pay uh, tribute uh, for such uh, courageous people. I'm really very impressed and very happy to be part of this uh, commemoration and also to uh, pay tribute to the journalist as a musician.